Hi there, and welcome to the final screencast of section two. Hi there, and welcome to the final screencast of section two in the cells and systems unit. And this sec this screencast is going to look at specialization of cells and why is it important for cells to be specialized, uh, specifically in the human body. Well, the first analogy I like to make uh, regarding specialization is this wonderful orchestra. Okay, you can see that there's oboes and bassoons and flutes and clarinets, cellos, violins. You can maybe see a drum in the background there. So clearly this orchestra, uh, because of the wide variety of organisms, can play a wide variety of songs. And that's, ter that's terrific. That's, that's, we love going to see them. But it becomes difficult when we want them to be more specific in their song choices. If I handed them a piece of, of just flute music, well, we'd have a bunch of people sitting around going, well, this is fun. You know, they're not doing anything. Whereas the flutists would just be thrilled. Or if I gave them a piece of piano music, uh, the, the pianists would be, would be happy, but the, the oboes or bassoons would just kind of sit there again, not doing much. So when we think of specialization, think of it this way. We have a group of just violinists doing just violin music. Okay, we give them their part to be really good at, and they are really good at it. It may be hard to believe, but just like the, the smaller orchestra, you too are organized, even in these very hectic middle years of your life. Okay. Like the instruments, the different cells have different appearances within your body and perform different jobs. We call that specialized. You can see in the image there how there's different uh, cells that do different things. Eye, skin, blood, brain, sperm cells, blood cells, okay, all doing very specialized things. Uh, the, the cells in your, or in your body help to organize your body in this way. We have cells that group together to be tissues, tissues that group together to be organs. We have multiple organs. They usually create an organ system, and that organ system is part of the entire organism. Organization allows you and your cells to work more efficiently. One cell has one job and they're really, really good at it. Okay? Cells in our body are specialized to carry out very specific functions. The structure of the cell relates to what the function is. There we go again, talking about structure and function. Some examples. We've already gone through this example, but I'd start with this one. Okay? We have this type of cell, which is a neuron cell. And this nerve cell is designed to branch out to carry signals all over the body. And you can tell it's got all these extensions to connect to multiple places. The, the function clearly serves the structure. This type of cell, this is a muscle cell. And you can see that it looks very thin or stretchy. That's because it's designed to be elastic-like, to stretch and to pull to create your strength. This one's probably very easy. This is your skin cell, and it creates a very protective layer. Notice how it's very tightly woven across the body, and they bind very closely to one another so things don't get through as easily. Now, what do you think the role of this cell is? Yes, this is a human cell. This cell is called a stem cell. And stem cells are the cells that grow from early, what we call embryonic development. Essentially, all your cells in your body, every type of cell, the muscle cell, the skin cell, the nerve cell, the blood cell, whatever cell you can think of, they start from this cell. It's pretty amazing. They all start from stem cells. That's why they call them stem cells. Okay. Now, stem cells are abundantly found in newborns, where new cells are everywhere, okay? especially in like the umbilical cord. We have them as adults, too. But they act as internal mechanics. They fixed some damaged cells. We don't have as many stem cells when we're adults uh, or as we grow. But uh, they are there still to fix those cells that may be damaged. And the hope is that one day maybe we could take stem cells and make new liver cells, new blood cells, new heart cells, new nerve cells for the brain, uh, maybe even new uh, pancreas cells or new lung cells so that we could combat things like cancer or treat illnesses or disease. If we knew where to find them and we knew how to harvest them, so to speak, and how to make them into one type of cell, we could we could do this. And scientists are looking at this very closely. The tricky part is that in order to get the stem cells, 
Uh, they have to use them from uh, newborn like umbilical cords or other places and that other places is where the, the controversy is. I won't get into that here but uh, that's why stem cell research is, is very tricky. So specialization is important because if you give one cell one job it becomes really good at it and your body is really good at specializing uh, the different cells in the body. Okay, That's all for specialization and that's all for section 2.